Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. And now we're going to quench it in this beaker of water right now. Okay. Now we'll remove the crown and dry it off and take a look at it. These horizontal cracks might be a little more obvious if I rotate this. There you can see my cracks a little bit. Hold the crown and the nail over the board, and then we just drive it right into the board. And you see the crown survived and didn't fracture. We had exposed the metal. We're going to take a screwdriver and twist the screwdriver and the portion is going to crack but it should not separate from the middle and we're down through to the opaque now and get a little bit deeper here on the incisal you should be able to see the metal and put the screwdriver right into the groove itself and I'm going to twist. And I'm going to twist again. And twist, and you can see how much force I'm putting on this. I'm twisting, and you can see that even though I have popped this porcelain off, and I've torqued it and twisted it, that the porcelain has remained on the metal itself. This is a test that some manufacturers use to determine bonding strength. I'm starting to get some cracks. Now, if you notice there are some cracks developed in this. Now I'm going to change the location of the hemostat and uh, tap it from the, the, the front and see if we can get this to crack. There, we finally got, got it to crack. Now you can see the tremendous amount of force that it has taken to get this to, to pop. And you'll notice that the, the portion that did fracture now has not fractured cleanly off of the metal. There's not a shiny metal underneath, but there is a, uh, an interface of, of glass remaining on this porcelain crown. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.